Greg Zanis, and I'm working on the armor top for this 1927 Cadillac. If you could take a look here, you'll see the heavy metal plating called tempered steel. This, this makes a door for the top of the car. And of course, this was ideal because you could machine gun the guy behind you like this if you're being chased. If you take a look here at the thickness of this armor top, we're getting ready to waterproof the top by just simply putting on rubber bunting like this. And then when it closes, it'll be waterproof. Another thing is we're refurbishing this car slowly. This, this is 220 grit sandpaper. We're gonna sand the car. So we can put another coat of lacquer on there. I'm just going to show you one small spot. You see the grit coming off. And then, of course, we're going to clean it with a tack cloth. And then we're going to spray it with lacquer paint. I don't mean just this one spot, but we're going to spray the entire car with this lacquer paint. I'll just show you kind of how that's going to go like this. And part of finishing off the top will be we're going to tape these windows off right here with blue tape and paper. And we're going to tape this line here. And then we're going to sand it. What I'm trying to do is repaint the top half of the car black. So all of this will get sanded down again. And all of this will get caulked in so it's watertight once again. We're going to leave the green on the door, but we're going to be painting the black areas here all the way around the top, including the VWE window, the, the bonnet, and all of these parts. So, And what you see here is a completed first coat of high gloss lacquer paint. We're planning to put on four or five coats and sand in between each coat. So we have the original car finished. These cars were originally painted in lacquer. If you take a look at the old finish here, you'll see what we've done is we've primed all the rusty areas and sanded them. And then we'll be sanding in between each of the coats until we have a very high gloss car finish. If you take a look here, all the way around here, you'll notice there's an edge here. This is intended to hide the armor plating so this car would look like a normal car. And if you look here, you'll see a seam of the two tempered steel panels. And you'll also see all these screw heads. We're planning to fill all of this stuff in with exterior caulk so you don't see anything but a high uh, gloss finish here. And then we're also going to be caulking all the way around the perimeter of the car here to make this waterproof once again. What we're trying to do is make the car look original like it did. And in a few minutes you'll see what we'll be doing to the car. Now you can see the completed paint job on Al Capone's 1927 Cadillac limousine. Of course, we're only talking about we painted the top half of this car. If you take a look along here, you can see the new paint job all the way up and down. And if you pop up here, you can take a look at the armor plating here is painted. It's painted here. And I don't know if you can see here, but you can see the seal in the two seams here where the two pieces of armor plated are seamed. If you follow my finger around here, you'll see that the top is now sealed all the way around there. And all the way, all the way around here, now the car is completely waterproof. All the seams are sealed here. And on the front, there's a seam also. And I'd like to show you outside of the car a little bit here. Okay, take a look here at the VV window. All the black has been painted on that. It's high gloss, very smooth looking. The hinges and, of course, all the black all the way around this car is looking tremendous here. Take a look at the back of the body here, how nice that looks all the way around here. Right here we've got five coats of fresh paint on this car. 
ready for a wax job. Of course, you can see here, as I was talking before, the seaming has all been sealed, so it's watertight. Now it's ready for the drip edge molding to go here to cover that up. We, we will be sealing this part after we get the green part painted. You can see into there. Take a look here at how beautifully sanded all of that is and smooth. And take a look all the way around here. Take a look at the very top of this car, how that's all sealed off. And if you take a look at the bottom of the windshield here, we were completed with this phase of the restoration. You can see the brackets, of course, they're painted. And thank you very much for watching this part of the restoration of this 1927 Cadillac. Thank you.